and this is Hillmorton. It's a little bit south of Rugby, still on the Oxford Canal. And this lock is the start of six locks in total. But worry not, because they're in duplicates. We left Rugby towards the east of the town. There's a short canal arm at Clifton-upon-Dunsmore that's now used for permanent mooring. Passing Rugby Golf Course, we moored up just before Hillmorton Locks. I stayed here for just over a week as the temperatures plummeted. It was quiet here and we were able to moor up close to a water tap. Michael the carpenter from Ziggy Sawdust has been busy making a TV cabinet for the inside of Alice. I wanted a good quality piece of furniture in the narrowboat that included some storage. The cabinet is to be made out of solid oak with an oak faced ply back. It'll sit under the gunnel on the starboard side and be 196 centimetres in length and 20 centimetres in depth. The space in the middle will be suitable for televisions up to 80 centimetres in width and I wanted cupboards either side of the television as well as underneath it. I wanted shaker style doors similar to my kitchen, stern and the side hatch. Michael is based in Hinckley in Leicestershire and is a cabinet maker by trade and his attention to detail is second to none. Full details of how to contact Michael are in the description below. After passing through the three locks, we winded our way down the Oxford Canal, passing Barbie Moorings and the Category B male adult prison that has a distinctive star shape. Just to the east of the village of Willoughby, I was able to park the car right next to the canal in a small car park. Lots of people ask how I can travel with both a boat and a car. Well, it can require a bus or a taxi, but mainly a good walk, which of course Molly enjoys. Mm -hmm. 
Along the side of the canal before we moored up, there are a series of meadows with sheep grazing in them. However, they have significant lined contours. If you know why the land is like this, please do let me know in the comments below. In the next episode we travel down to Braunston and turn down the stretch where the Grand Union and the Oxford Canals merge. If you've not already subscribed please do, it doesn't cost you anything and by clicking the bell icon you'll be notified about future releases. Until next time, see you later.